Welcome back to the channel out here at Lone Star Throwdown 2024, early morning on Saturday. Literally just walked in the gate over here and we're just starting to check out all these awesome cars and trucks. And uh, let me show you the first thing that caught my eye. Got Walker with me today. We flew in yesterday and uh, kind of weird to fly into a car show, but you know, you do what you gotta do. Saw this 64, 65 C10 first gen. Oh, they uh, converted it to a short bed. I love this color, obviously. A little partial to it. Sweet truck. Everybody's still rolling in, so I think the plan today is uh, we're gonna go to the indoor area first where all the show trucks are already set up. I know they got a big arena over here and uh, they got lifted trucks, lower trucks, a lot of like high quality stuff. So let's start there while everybody trickles in and then we'll check out the rest of the show. Check this out, only in Texas will they put a bunch of lifted and lowered trucks in a freaking bull riding arena on the dirt. <laughs> Dude, these are sweet trucks just chilling right here on the dirt. Oh man, he's got a crack in his windshield. Oh, that sucks. This is a beautiful truck. I've seen this one out at um, Battle in Bama on Million Dollar Row, I think last year. This thing is uh, beautiful. And then uh, this is the fella that runs the Sparks in the Park show. Um, <laughs> I identify as a, as a mini truck. But he built this truck not that long ago. And yeah, here you go, Sparks in the Park. That's a show in the panhandle of Florida. Uh, obviously, killer truck, right? And then you got a whole bunch of lifted stuff. Not super into the lifted trucks, guys and gals, but I do appreciate them. Walker doesn't think this is dirt. I don't know, dude. I think, I think this is like a clay. Yeah, look. Clay? Yeah, it's a hundred percent. Clay? It's like a, it's like a dirt. Maybe somebody in the comments can tell us what kind of floor this is in this arena. A little chilly this morning. I bet this thing looks sick aired out. Oh, this is the Fat Fabs Dooley, 3,500. Yeah, this thing lays frame 20, what is this? Sixes or eights? Uh, big, huge. Oh, they got the beautiful red interior. They still put that thing to work. I've seen this thing towing uh, some trailers down the road on the internet. Look at those things, dude. It's insane. Walker, stand next to that wheel. Just so people can see how big it is. Look how big that wheel is. It like comes up to his shoulder, dude. That thing is huge. All right, I was, uh, I was wrong on the wheels. They're not 26, they're 28, they're 30. That's why they look ridiculously huge, because they are. I think this is the American, oh, obviously, the American Force booth. So all these trucks out here are gonna have American Force wheels on it. I think this was one of the first trucks I've seen Fat Fabs do. Ah, oh, it's just awesome. I might have seen this one last, at the last LST show I came to but it wasn't, maybe it wasn't painted yet. I don't, I don't remember. Which one's your favorite lifted truck? I like this one. So Dodge. Oh, look, he's got, is this like a, it's like a, uh, I guess it's a wrap, but it looks like a brushed metal. Oh, maybe it's painted. I think he painted that, like painted up to it. I don't want to touch it, so that's cool. What's up? You like that one? Yeah, look at this, bud. It's got the Paisley scroll work done. Yep. 
I mean, tell me like a ton of work doesn't go into this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dude, like, look at all this work and fabrication that goes into this stuff. <clears throat> yeah, it's like a chameleon. So like, yeah, this wrap like changes colors. It turns like purple. <clears throat> That's pretty cool, man. Yeah. Old cat eye right here. Love me a cat eye, man. Also, like, digging this Ford. Got an F-250 Ranger. Looking like a late 70s, 78, 79. Let me know in the comments what year it is. But this looks a lot like a 79 to me. Not too familiar with these, but that's pretty cool. He's got the uh, original-ish sticker. Might be a repop. I mean, it might just be me, but I'd love to see this thing like on the ground. Oh no, I just noticed this blue truck. I wonder what happened to this guy. Dead gum. I just noticed, I saw the windshield was cracked, but I didn't see that he had a dent in the tailgate. <clears throat> Look at this big boy. Squeak. Man, that sucks to see uh, truck damage like that. Hopefully that's the only damage done to it. Oh, he's got like a dent in the hood. gum, man. That sucks. Dude walked right by this slam dually. Couple of things I'm noticing on it. We got some hood work done here. So it looks like they graphed in a cat eye hood. But check this out. These door handles are from like a 08 and later Silverado. What else do we see? They added the body line in the back of the cab, which was not there from the factory. Look at that bug. And of course you got the bed work done and all that. It's pretty cool. Oh, got a little moonroof action. Well, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, look up through there. They got the moonroof. Leather wrap dash. Well, this is very nice. Is that your favorite? It's Walker's favorite lifted truck of the day so far. Look at all the decorations. Got it on an air ride too. So this truck will go up and down on those airbags. It's beefy. Train horn. Yep. So part of LST is dudes bringing out the most ridiculous cars. And uh, this is the first one that we've seen that's been absolutely ridiculous, dude. He's got like so many spacers on there. Freaking front wheels hitting the body. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, never mind. They're putting nose wheels on it. <laughs> we'll come back later and check that thing out. Uh, looks pretty wild. All right, so me and Walker just walking around the show, getting a feel for kind of the layout. I'm trying to remember where everything was at. Anyway, this is my buddy Greg Nettles' truck. This is the original, this is an original Belltech truck back in the early 90s. Same paint, like original paint, the same wheels Belltech put on it, same drop. It was at SEMA this year, 40th anniversary of Belltech, and they featured this truck in their booth. This is such a cool truck. Fella actually lives in uh, Asylum Springs, Arkansas, not too far from Mike and Sarah Losh of Slosh Tubs. Really cool truck. We we'll have to come back when the lighting's not so harsh uh, and get some more video of this thing. That's where everybody's rolling in. Come here. 
Check that thing out. On air. I believe they do drive through judging right here. And I think we're gonna go to that building right there. Got a little bit of everything at this show. Some killer boats. You got motorcycles. I saw like a pro street car, drag car. Looked like a Nova over there. So this is the next building. You got a lot more uh, like featured trucks in here and more vendors and whatnot. It's an old school 79 Indy truck. Got the impact stripes on it. Only 30K. That is a diesel. That's a turbo diesel. Got a killer set of Apaches over here. This thing is, my goodness. That is awesome. That might be like a good thumbnail right there. And you got some more vendors over here. And then uh, that behind these vendors is like your food court. There's a huge area with a ton of food vendors. I know that's a concern for some of the events we go to is, are they gonna have food? But they, they have food here. Got a 5.0 Mustang, some drag radials on it. Yeah, bud. Yeah, we're walking over here, checking out. Some stuff, got a bunch of signs over here. So, all right, I've been looking at these guys for a Pro Charger setup for Cookie Monster. They have, I know I already have a billet front runner on it, but they have one where you could use the P, P1SC Supercharger, Pro Charger on it. Might be, might be talking to these guys, CVF. Buick Riviera. Is this one a boat tail? Does it look like a Batmobile? Pretty sweet, right? Got a killer C10 right here. A lot of billet work in there. Let's see if we can Can't hardly see anything in there. Yo, look at all this interior stitching. That's crazy. Yeah. Loving the color combination here. What's this on some race lines? Yeah, buddy. Got a couple of nice Tahoes over here too. This one's got the suicide nose with a cat eye front end conversion. That's nice. A couple of trophy trucks over here. This thing is gnarly. So I love this uh, iconic blue and orange color combo. Let's see what kind of, well, what do we got here? We got a supercharger on Looks like a 5.0, but this thing rips, dude. Look at this freaking truck, dude. Can you imagine taking this out on the desert and ripping on this thing? Oh, dude, a Typhoon? You don't see too many of these things. Turbocharged V6 from the factory. 
Oh, there's a cyclone right behind it. <laughs> look at the look at the fat wheels in the back, man. All right, we just left the building over there. I thought we were gonna see some more trucks. I'm missing a building. I gotta find out where it's at. So I'm saying you got a little bit of everything out here at LST. You got your mini trucks. You got the slam Jeep, like on the ground. And then you got a Toyota Supra on the ground. And then you got a Lamborghini on the ground with some patina on it. I mean, this thing is nuts, dude. And then what else you got? You got a mini truck right here. And then, oh, then you got an R8 right there, slammed on the ground. I don't think I've ever seen one of these in person like that. That's wild, dude. Walking over to the vendor section, House of Hot Rides has some killer stuff over here. I've seen this power wagon before at one of the street truck shows. This thing is wild, dude. I wish it was open so I could show you the interior. But it is crazy. But what caught my attention was this vet right here. This thing is, this thing is nice. <laughs> Come on, bud. Got a GTO right here too, convertible. Heck yeah. Walking up to the, oop, sorry buddy. So this is kind of like the main drag where cars and trucks are gonna be driving like all day. We just left over there. It's like the food vendor area I was telling you about. That's where the, uh, like the R8 and stuff is over there. So this is gonna be, I mean, all day today, this is gonna be crowded with people and it's gonna be just like traffic jam all day. So I'm glad we got out here early to kind of show you guys a little bit beforehand. Well, I stumbled upon this little fella here. This thing is wild, bro. Look at that supercharger. Should I put that on one of the trucks? Holy cow. At BBC underscore Zach, BCC underscore Zach. Look, he's got aluminum race seats in there. This thing looks like it gets down. Ran into uh, Brandon Burrell Street Trucks. Uh, at Apache look familiar? So the building that I'm trying to find was right next to the building that we walked into. Check these trucks out. This is two ballistic. This is a Florida truck. So this truck was built after an original mini truck back in the uh, early 90s. And dude like knocked it out of the park. It was recently on a cover of Street Trucks magazine as uh, a reshoot of that cover when they did that back in the day. So. So you're gonna see a lot of really nice stuff in here. Look at these displays, man. This is just so wild. That's just unreal, dude. We got a Willwood set up here. Dude's out of Canada. Twenty four cover truck for the throwdown. Freaking no compromise. So this dude's out of Tampa. His name's Mike. I've been uh, saw him. At, I, I think uh, this was actually one of the featured trucks on my Dino's video. It was one of the featured truck my Dino's video. He built this quite a few years ago and then just revamped it. Oh, the judge's book. If you ever see this truck, go through this book and see how much metal work was done to this truck. So it's actually an OBS. He did a cat eye front end. He uh, put a lot of cat eye features on the truck, including graft in a cat eye hood, mirrors. So when you look at the truck, it looks like stock well not stock but it looks like a rel relatively stock body it looks like that front end belongs on this truck because of all the little things that they've done to make it that way wish i could step over this and show you the interior because it is nuts but this display is awesome dude such a cool truck
Going with that ride tech. Got that on Cookie Monster. Sweet 67 here. Another Sweet 67. Oh man, that's cool, dude. Yeah, look at the, the gold leaf work. That is wild, dude. Got the Yoder. <laughs> that's right. Got an Apache fleet side right here. Air it out. With some goodies in there. A little F100 action. Walker found Pac Man. Veneta Fabrications. This is Jason Veneta. He's got all kinds of parts that he sells for these trucks. He does like front valences. This is one of his builds. He does uh, filler panels in the engine bay, front valence. I believe the front bumpers. These are Mustang mirrors, but he sells them with a kit that you can put them on your truck. Uh, just all, all kinds of little stuff you could set, you could uh, put on your on your C10. Also, does an, some incredible builds. Somehow walked right by this guy. It's freaking killer S10. Got a nice C10 right here too. I get stressed out just looking at this. Walking by the uh, TIS off-road booth, you got this whole square body Sonoma on this crazy lift. You ever seen a tractor on rims? You got some drag radials up front. Oh, you got spinning centers. A twin turbo diesel motor. This thing is ready to put in some work. And it's got nitrous? I don't know what's going on here. I've never seen anything like this. Speaking of bumping into Brandon, this is uh, his latest build, Project Stockish. Saw him put this thing together for SEMA. A lot of really cool parts on this truck. I believe it was in the Drop Stars wheels booth for SEMA this year. But just a really cool truck. You got yourself an old Doge. A little D100 action. Looks like it's got some spice under the hood there. Oh, they're still doing some fab work. Starting to cruise, it's picking up. This thing caught my eye over here. This is cool. Walking around, checking the show out. Here's the gas monkey giveaway truck. Didn't expect to see this today. That's pretty cool. Over here is like general parking 
So that's the American Force Arena over there. Coming over here, tennis ball. This truck was hit at a uh, Texas show recently and uh, dude's already got it all put back together. That is a yellow interior, bro. Yeah, man. I mean, there's just a sea of trucks over here you could look at. Look at that big boy right there. Got a Tahoe front end on this guy right here. Oh, you got like a 14 Silverado front end on this guy. They did a pretty decent job, like matching in the rear fenders with the front. Sometimes when they do these front end swaps, they don't even take into account the fender in the back of the vehicle, only in the front. It's pretty cool. If I could get out of the shadow, it's still real early in the morning. Got that harsh light. Oh, let's go say what's up to our buddy Slosh Tubs. Out right at the Slosh Tubs booth. So Pretty Penny is almost done. Check this freaking truck out, dude. Of course, Slosh Tubs got his box in the back. Killer interior. Running a small block in there with some Fitech fuel injection. Getting ready to throw on vintage air. Of course, he's got his tubs and some filler panels. It's looking good. Love this truck. So some of the tough slosh tubs does, some of the stuff slosh tubs does is uh, just came out with these OBS speaker boxes. He's got the square body speaker boxes, C10 speaker boxes. And of course you got transmission tunnels. Uh, there's his filler panels, all of his tubs. He's got a bunch of parts. He even makes these uh, buddy bucket brackets and uh, you can get a foam kit for it and make it uh, make your, turn your truck into a bucket seat truck. And here's some of his OBS parts. This is what uh, Cookie Monster will end up looking like, except my tubs won't be as high as his because this truck lays out. So my tubs will be a lot lower, but similar idea. Heck yeah. You going cruising, bro? Oh, got you. Mama Lash, that's Mama Lash's truck. Well, dang, here's that limo. They put it on them big old wheels on this thing. That's uh, that's pretty wild. With a dogie up up top there. Yeah, you can't even get in. You can't even get in the car, man. Yeah, that's pretty wild. Came across this twin turbo rat rod with a uh, Cummins diesel motor in it. That's really cool. Also got a really nice fleet side Apache right here. With a square body. And then I uh, saw this dude pulled up. So this old Apache right here Fella was on the power tour in 2023. There it is. Oh, my bad, a cameo. That's pretty awesome. And a first gen C10. Came across this uh, old F350 here. I wanted to show you guys the suspension. So he's got the Suspension fully aired up on one side and fully aired out on the other. So he's got, what, a good eight inches of lift. He's got something nice coming. There's that Corvette we saw earlier. That thing is sweet. Oh, that old Willys. Look at this thing. 
Yes, sir. It's all dry. Got a nice supercharger on it right there. All right, now we're starting to get a little busier. So this is the main drag. This is uh, where all of those uh, American Force trucks are. Again, this is that main drag. All your vendors are over here and everybody's just cruising. This is one of those car shows you come to and everybody just cruises around. There is a truck I want to show you guys in the arena, but have not been able to get over there when there's an audio break and I might just have to shoot it and then do the audio later. Yeah, buddy. We're gonna jump across the street here. Hey Walker, let's go this way, bud. Sweet Ford. So this is the main entrance. I didn't really shoot any of this when we came in because uh, just wanted to go straight to that arena before they started blasting music. <laughs> Check out this blazer. Oh my goodness. Look at the metal work. That is beautiful. Interiors on point. My goodness, that's beautiful. Hey, Walker, you match this truck, man. Like perfectly. Okay. Oh man, look at that interior there, dude. That is killer. I wonder why this guy's all covered up right here. You what, bud? Yeah, and then there's the entrance where everybody's coming in. These are the trucks we saw this morning. Just walking down that main drag again. Here's Solomon and Gold Dust. He drove that thing all the way from Miami with a bed full of death. Oh, here's that uh, power wagon cruising. Been up with Mike over at the airlift booth. They got some killer products. Got their air helper bags on the back of the dually. Uh, it's their wireless, new wireless tank system. The thing is awesome, man. It's got a little controller in the truck. You can just air it up or air it down. Um, it is sweet. So they got an airlift performance on this guy, this guy, and this is a Black Widow truck. Somebody's getting bored. Let's go, bud. Come on. Walker, get up. Black Widow exhaust, got a 77 here. Oh, I've seen this uh, sorority girl. That's right, I've seen this truck before. It's all done up. Check this thing out. That is noise. So this is kind of, again, like the main drag. I think they do judging down here. And then this is that road that comes in and then goes in front of the arena where we were just at. Got the GSI booth over here. They always got some killer stuff. Then you got United by Trucks and Square Body. You got a truck coming, bud. Oh, it's the Parker's Dually. Haven't seen this before. This is on a GSI frame. This thing is sweet, man. I've seen it on the internet before, but never in person. I think they live in Oklahoma and they actually like drive this thing, which is sweet.
You got UBT K5 right here. And you got Rick's C10. So this is the crew. This is the Joja crew. There's Jeremy. Car show Lizzie. All right, let's go say what's up to these guys. Came across this old Ford right here. We got a supercharger, blower action, but it's a straight six. And to me, these look like LS heads. And if you look right here next to this exhaust port, looks like they've been welded together to make all this work. Oh yeah, there's a better view of it right there. Yep. Like, see around that bolt right there? Crazy. That is wild. That's some engineering right there. I bet this thing rips, dude, even though it's a straight oh, six. I'd love, I'd love to hear it. Yeah. yeah. Come on, bud. Yep, yeah, this one's like a camellia wrap. <laughs> Saw this truck almost all over the place last year. We saw him at Dino's Get Down, saw him at Trey Five Shop Party. It was built by Trey Five. Eye Candy Paint Works painted it. Saw it at uh, uh, the show at Destination Daytona, Eastbound Get Down. Along with that, freaking Escalade right there. Let's go look at that one. So this truck was built by Jimmy's Riding Custom in New Smyrna Beach, Florida. And uh, yeah, dude, just a dope Escalade laying on 30s. Just your oh, average everyday. Yeah, just, just your average everyday Escalade. <laughs> yeah, this thing is sick, dude. Yeah. Oh, it's got a sunroof too. That's what's up. Look at that paint job, dude. That's pretty wild. Some nice OBS trucks here. 350. I don't know if I've seen this one before. Pristine. Let's see what's going on here. Got a little Ranger right here. I think it's sweet. That's what an I-beam, twin I-beam suspension looks like when you take the spring out of it. <laughs> yeah. It's just oh, that camber. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny, man. All right, man. That, that's a poor man's low rider. Just take the springs out. Yeah, exactly. Right, right on the bumpers. That's right. Double up your bumpers and try to pick a smooth. That's right. Man, this thing is clean, too. Check out the interior of this one. Oh, that's pretty cool the way they did the bed right there. That's nice. Dang, what's this over here? Bodied F-150 on 28s. Somebody's getting down in this Mazda. Got a LS swap up here, full roll, roll cage. Just getting down. Thing is nuts, dude. Saw this dually cruising around today, man. This thing is sick. Rick pointed out the dash. It's a 60s dash, but check out the instrument cluster. It's hard to see, but that's the original instrument cluster in the 60s dash. Thing is super clean, man. This truck is killer. Hey, Walker, you match this truck too. <laughs> Just found a battery powered Doge. It's pretty cool, EV. We've been hanging out over here. Come on, bud. Been hanging out with our crew over here. And uh, 
again, this is like where a lot of the main people are driving through. So this is this is your drive through judging over here. This is the start of the loop that goes around the whole show and they're literally starting to get backed up over here. So I'm gonna walk around the opposite way and we'll make our way back around. But we're gonna come over here. We have Relaxed Atmosphere, which is a huge car club uh, out across the nation. And then um, behind these guys is the C10 Club. We got the Yoder. All right, so this is where Relaxed Atmosphere relaxes. Coming back to check Greg's truck out. Got to talk with him for a little bit. Um, he's been the guy I've been talking to about my build. Obviously, this is the color I want to stick with with the truck, but he's given me a ton of information about when Boyd Coddington sat down to meet with GM. He picked out these colors and that's kind of the history on it. I might actually sit down with Greg at some point in the future and kind of do a little interview or just kind of talk about how these sport trucks started with these 91 OBSs. But anyway, this is an original Bell Tech truck. He drives it, he drove it here from Arkansas. And uh, man, this is such a cool truck. Like I said before, it was at SEMA and it's just a really, really nice, clean representation of what they used to build back in the day. Speaking of OBSs, we're gonna come over here and check out Relaxed 67's uh, 454 truck. This dude's out of Arkansas as well. And he's always got some really cool stuff. This thing's super clean. I'm hoping to meet him today. But I may not be able to. Man, I wish that 454 was in my dually. It is awfully clean. Check out this IROC. Now this thing is clean, dude. This is gonna be uh, this is gonna be something that's gonna be on the channel soon. There ain't nothing like driving a dead gum IROC Camaro. Yeah, we're definitely starting to pick up. Getting a lot busier. Man, check this Continental out. Looks like original paint. Excuse me. That thing is cool. Check the Toyota. This thing is freaking sweet. I really want to do one of these trucks one day. That's awesome. What are you doing? Making our way to the C10 Club area. My old stomping grounds. It's going to be the, uh, you know, basically the Texas chapter, but you know, guys from all over the place. We got Kyle from Maryland. He actually just put this Holly sniper kit on the big block and uh, said he had 50 miles on it when they left Maryland. And there's a tiny truck. We'll just walk around and check us out. Music's kind of loud in here, but uh, let's enjoy these C10s. Just ran into Israel over here. Spoke with him for a little bit. Getting ready to do a 383 stroker swap on this old C10. Really looking forward to that one. Just keep walking around and checking out these C10s.
All right, so behind me is that main building. We were just over where the C10s are, which is on this backside, posted up on the hill. I just want to show you guys how crazy this place is getting right now. I mean, this whole field is full. We came out here, there wasn't hardly anybody out here at 8 a.m. It's now two o'clock and this place is jamming. I mean, just so many trucks and cars and side-by-sides and freaking, you know, whatever you want to see, it's here. Boats, motorcycles, we got it all. All right, let's go find some more trucks. Let's go. All right, burning off some energy. Oh gosh, oh gosh. There we go. Dude just walking around, another RA's posted up here, that's cool. Trucks everywhere, what's up buddy? Oh, they got these crazy like side-by-side -side things that are just, I mean. Look at those suckers, bro. Some 30s. Yeah, that's the wheels the side-by-side -side had. Woo, some big ones. Dude's putting in work. Yes, sir, get that shot. Speaking of, this thing is pretty wild looking. I see two turbos. It looks like a cat motor. Freaking first Toyota Tundra that I've seen slammed. And uh, I do like it, it's hard to get a shot of it. It's getting real busy over here. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of that look. All right, let's walk down the main drag again. Dude, look how busy it is. That's what I'm saying, man. It's just a non-stop flow of cars and trucks. Look at that Volkswagen. Nice. Nice. Brookwood. Wiping his truck down again. It's kind of all for nothing. It's just so dusty out here. Let's say on this side, bud. It's just like a sea of people and then opens up and there's a car or a truck rolling by. Trey 5 Customs booth, that's a sweet truck. He debuted that at SEMA this year, saw it at Dino's. Watch this truck. You want a sticker, buddy? Yeah, man. Thank you. Oh, I see. Yeah, dude. It's 
thing is wild. Check out this freaking Bel Air. I would love to build something like this to daily drive. Do a nice little LS swap in it. So this fleet side Apache is actually the dude that owns Dixon Flannel. And uh, here, sit back here. Yeah, there you go. That is a killer truck. He's got Dixon on the calipers, LT4 supercharged motor, probably a 10 speed. You got a TV out here playing. Can't see what it's putting out, but uh, I'm sure it's a great story. Just thought that was pretty cool. Here's the truck I came to see. This guy's name's Jeff. My buddy Joe Aguizio sold him this truck quite a few years ago, and Jeff has turned it into this masterpiece. Check out the Dakota Digitals in this thing. This is what I need to put in my truck. There's another pace truck. These guys were not over here earlier. I'm really glad I got to see this today. I want to check this thing out in detail. Oh, look at this. Look at this plate. 1534. Yeah. That is awesome. I need that cup too. He did a killer job with it. This is the first show that this truck's been at. It's the other pace truck that's over here. This one's pretty nice too. I wish it was opened up. We could check out what it's got. It's got a nice set of big brakes on there with some race lines. Very, very clean. All right, so uh, it's a little loud where we're about to go next. We're going back into the arena. I want to show you guys one more truck. So this truck used to be the teal cat eye OBS with all the crazy graphics on it. Dude got hit in the back end at a, sh uh, pulled into a uh, fast food joint after a show. And instead of just repairing it and, you know, matching the graphics and stuff, he completely redid the entire truck. So let's go check out this one. It's actually going to be on the cover of Street Trucks Magazine very, very soon. All right, guys and gals, that's going to do it for us for LST 2024. We're going to get out of here. Gonna get some AC, it's actually a hot one this year. Uh, Walker did really good. We lasted almost the entire day, but we're gonna go back to the hotel, catch some AC. If you guys enjoyed this video, why don't you watch some of the other event videos that I've done? Or if you like watching me struggle to work on my trucks, why don't you watch this one right here? Or you could subscribe to the channel and I would greatly appreciate it as always. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.